Hey, what's going on with it once again? Looks like a backup further in the camp. What's going on with it once again? Of course, um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, about um, Rose, Women, Bronies, and Pegasus. So I'm gonna look at my digital clock to see what's 8:15 West Coast Pacific Time right now. So, anyways, um, anyways, what's going on with it once again? Third time, um, Rose, Women, Bronies, and Pegasus, the one, the only, of course, Mister, um, Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Criticism Guy 2009, and of course. Nintendo Anime Manga 360. Sorry for my face is really close to the camera. I zoomed the camera a little bit before I did this video, so you probably just see my face. And hopefully you can see that next to me. Um, it's the Xbox, you know, one conference like picture, or whatever. I decided to just put one picture for each, for that one, for um, Nintendo's um, Wii U, and for um, of course Sony's PlayStation 4 shit going on, or actually went on because it's been almost two weeks since it went off, almost week and a half, because um. It was like June 14th, 15th, it's the 23rd, almost the 24th, fucking almost, so it's been almost two and a half weeks, so, uh, anyways, um, I don't have any little thing to show you or anything like that, but, um, I will say this, let me go to the other picture so that way it doesn't fucking shut down on me, alright, um, let's play this fucker right here, alright, yeah, I'm gonna pause it that way the whole time, okay, so pause there. Xbox E3 media briefing, that's what it was, or a conference, or however you want to call it. But obviously, I'm going to get the three biggest, um, like, big, giant topic highlights that they talked about. I know most of you people know I'm not a really huge Xbox One Microsoft fan. I never gave a fucking shit about them, I never will. But there are a few games, I will admit, I was very harsh on it last year, 2013, that was 2013, or 2014, excuse me. But, um, I will say this, I was a little bit more impressed with some of the games that they have. Not all of them, just some of them, and I'm going to get to that list. Big giant list I made of all three for um, PlayStation 4, um, Sony's PlayStation 4 games, Microfot, Microfot, Microsoft's Xbox One games, and uh, Nintendo Wii U games. So, obviously the Nintendo's the shortest, so it's barely less than like 40 games. So, obviously everyone knows it's going to be Mario and Pokemon and shit. Obviously I'm a big Pokemon fan. So when I get to my Sony shit, my PlayStation 4, I'm going to be a lot more hype. It'll see me a lot more excited and shit. But right now I'm probably going to be half depressed, like meh. Because they mostly do a lot of sports games and a lot of games I really don't give a shit about, like first person shooter, like Halo and Call of Duty, all that fucking boring ass shit. I really don't give a fuck about it, period. Never have, never was a fan of it, never will be. There are a few other first person shooter games that are decent, but not this one. I just never give a shit about these two, period. But yeah, without further ado, let's get this shit started. So, the three biggest um, topics they talked about the first one was obviously the Halo fucking series, the whole collector's edition, if you buy, like, you pay two, three hundred dollars for all the games for oh Xbox One HD definition, 1080p, 1280p shit. I I could give two shits on fuck about it, really. I really don't fucking care, all right. You know I don't give a shit about Halo. I don't give a fuck about it. It's boring as fuck. It's stupid as shit. So many real racist fucking cunts out there cussing at you, especially if you're black or Hispanic. You probably really don't give a shit about Halo. Maybe, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Just kiss the white man's butt or whatever. Sorry for white Caucasian people, no offense. I know I know not all you white people like Halo. It's probably some of you that don't give a shit about it either. It's just like I don't give a shit about it and I hate it. But the thing is just way too fucking overhyped. It's stupid as shit. I never gave a fuck about it. I shit on Halo last year, I'm still gonna shit on it this year. It's just crap. It's mad that it's trash. Whatever the fuck you wanna call it, it's just complete bullshit. It's excrement to me. I never will like it, never have, never will. I'm sorry if you like Halo, if you're a Halo fanboy or a Halo fangirl, because there's probably, I, I gotta imagine, there's a couple fangirls that love Halo and shit. Me, I never gave a fuck about it, I never will. So I'm probably gonna have to disable the comments in this video, because I know there's gonna be a lot of fucking cunts out there. It's like, oh, fuck you, fat fuck Mexican or whatever, you fat fuck, um, black nigger motherfucker, some troll little piece of shit out there. They're gonna fucking spew their hatred and shit. They can fuck off, okay? They can all just fuck off. I'm sorry I'm gonna have to, like, disable the comments on this one, too. Because, you know, I really don't give a shit about Microsoft. I'm just doing the video just because it was Party 3. So, yeah, that's their first big giant topic that they talked about. Same with Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare. Even though Kevin Spacey, unfortunately, he's in the game. Without a doubt, one of my all-time favorite actors, too. That's the thing that kills me. One of my all-time top ten favorite actors. If I, you know, want Bruce Willis or Brad Pitt or any of those fuckers. Tom Cruise, maybe. Um, who else? Jonah Hill, Channing Tatum, when they did that 20 Jump Street just about a couple weeks ago. Who else? Um, maybe even Samuel Jackson, Delta Washington, and Jamie Foxx. They're really good-ass actors, you know? Kevin Spacey is probably, like, number nine or ten. He's next to either Robert De Niro or Al Pacino. I don't know. One of my legendary all-time favorite actors. He's, like, number nine or ten on the list. But, yeah, other than that, I was a little disappointed seeing him in that Call of Duty game. Because, you know, I really don't give a fuck about Call of Duty either. It's fucking boring as shit. 
I can tolerate it a little bit more than Halo, but the thing is, I still don't give a fuck about it too much. I don't hate it. I don't think it's shit and mierda or anything like that. It's just, I never had too much interest in it. It's kind of boring to me. It made me fall asleep on numerous occasions. Especially when I used to go to my friend's house back in my high school years. All they cared about was, oh, Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 2. I didn't really care too much about it. I'm not going to hate on the COD fans because I am subscribed to two girls. I do a shit ton of a lot of Call of Duty video games. Like Let's Play reviews or they do a lot of, um, what's it called, um, gameplays and shit like that series. They do Grand Theft Auto a lot now too, GTA 5, but they still do the Call of Duty shit in Battlefield. Battlefield, I will admit, it's a lot better in Call of Duty. It has a lot more you know, speculation and shit. There's less trolls on that shit. There's a lot more cooler people that are more inviting, more friendlier. There's probably a couple, maybe one or two trolls on there, but not as many as COD and Halo. Oh, God, there's way too many fucking racist fucks on there. I'm sorry, there just is. I don't know. I guess the more overpopular a game gets, the more hatred and evilness it attracts. I don't know. That's just my thoughts and theories on it. Yeah, so there was those two main big games they were talking about for the Xbox One. Only exclusive for Xbox One. Of course, it's a lie when they say it would Call of Duty. Because with Halo, I can understand that's an Xbox exclusive. This is the main reasons I will never in my entire life, ever, ever, purchase an Xbox One. Fuck that shit to hell. I'm sorry. I'm always going to be a Sony fanboy and a Nintendo fanboy. All the way for life until the day I hit the grave. Always. I'm that dedicated of a fanboy loving those two companies way more. Even though I'm in, there's maybe one or two games on Nintendo I don't really like too much, but I don't hate the crap out of them. There's a difference between hating it and disliking it, you know? Same with Sony, too. There's a few games on there I don't really like very much, like Skyrim or Far Cry. Those are kind of boring shit. I'm going to get to those in the other videos. I have to do a part two of this video, too, because my battery's dying, so I only got 20-15% health left for my battery for my um, Samsung Galaxy S3. But, yeah, uh, let's get to it. Um, let me get my um, drink. Where is it? Ah, there we go. Hold on one sec. Yeah, but uh, as I was saying, yeah, I don't give a fuck about that. Then they talked about these EP IP addresses or whatever for, like, all their little indie games. I will met some of their indie games that look good, you know. I'm not going to shit all over that. They look almost great, even. You know, I really do like their game. Their little indie games are from little smaller, like, studios that aren't really well known, like how active is it? Ubisoft, EBA Sports, Rare, all these big, giant gaming companies. I really don't give a shit about the fucking fans. But, like, the other ones that are small indie games, I could respect that. There were, some of them were even great. You know, I'm not going to lie. And, um, yeah, the last thing I wanted to talk about was, like, all their little entertainment system. They didn't really do that very much this week, this year. The only thing they said, oh, they have Skype and they have Twitch TV and shit. That's the only two things I really mentioned, and that was it. So, without further ado, the main event, I might have to do a two-part video on this. Let me um, just check my camera real quick. You're probably going to see something quick blinding. Okay, and we got... Hold on one second, ladies and gentlemen. I got to see how much um stuff I got here left. I've been in this thing eight, nine minutes already. So, okie dokie, fucking Loki. Just in the words like Pinky Bean to Diane Pie. If, any, if you're a brony or Pegasus out there like me, you know what that is. Okie dokie, Loki. Let's get this shit on the road. So, first one up. Um, I'm not going to explain every game. I'm just going to read the names of the list and that's probably it. I might say how I feel about it and how I don't feel. Here it is. One Blind Forest, that's another one. These are all the indie games right here. Um, uh, excuse me. Indie style games, here it is. Um, Dead Prez Inside, Dead President Inside, I don't know. Let me read the other one, because I made two different like ones right here. Um, hold on one second, people. All right, I'm going to read the big ones. Forza 5, um, Condinge, I don't know what that is. Um, Homefront 3, Evil Within. What else? Um, Lords of the Fallen. I think that's either PS4 or the other one because I put it in both for Xbox 2. Um, Dragon Age Inquisition. I don't care about that. Sunset Overdrive. Let me tell you how much of a good fucking game that shit is. Sunset Overdrive? I really wish that would have been for PlayStation 4. I hella would have got that shit in a heartbeat if it was for PS4. Because even though I don't have a PS4, I'm going to get one this November, December. Either that or the Wii U. I don't know because Super Smash Bros. shit is coming out. Fuck. I really want to get both of them, but I don't have $900 just like that, you know? So, I mean, they're going to have to choose the PS4 or the Nintendo Wii U. I don't know. The thing is, like, fucking, um, the PlayStation 4 for Sony, they have a lot more of a bigger library of video games than, um, Nintendo Wii U does. So, this is the thing, my issue with it. But Nintendo has so many nostalgic, more memories for me than PlayStation does. I don't know. I'm a Sony PlayStation boy and a fanboy and a Nintendo fanboy. It's hard for me to choose, you know? 
But yeah, there's that. Sunset Overdrive is really cool. It's from Insomniac Studios. The same people that I brought you, Spyro Dragon, way back in the day. That really piece of little crappy kids game, Skylanders. I don't really care about that. That's more for the younger generation, even though people around my age, I like it, but I'm just not into that. You know, Spyro was in that too. And Ratchet and Clank. How much can I not even stress you enough how much I love the shit out of that Ratchet and Clank game series? Especially with the 2015 movie coming out. I will be doing a movie review on that. My criticism got you, of course. I don't do no movie reviews here. I do trailer reactions maybe once in a while. Alright, um, it's really cool. It's got like a first person shooter type of thing. But the difference is, it's a third person thing, I think. Not first person, excuse me. Um, yeah, you get to shoot all these fucking like soda cannons and all that shit. And you get to use all these different types of weapons and stuff. Comes out of your imagination. It's like the Green Lantern meets like Ratchet and Clank meets um, Crash Bandicoot almost. Which is crazy as fuck. I'm saying that for an Xbox fucking Microsoft game. Like, let alone that shit, you know, seriously. Nevertheless, um, it still looks like a good-ass game, Sunset Overdrive. I heard a lot of really awesome, like, reviews, a lot of people doing YouTube video reviews on Sunset Overdrive. That shit looks boss as fuck. I really wish it would have been fucking, um, Sony PlayStation Portal. That's the thing. That's what kills me there, man. But, oh well, sometimes you gotta sacrifice shit. Uh, next one up is, um, Dead Rising 3. Uh, it's, it's a pretty good-ass game. Not very nostalgic for me, but very memorable at the same time. I will say that. Um, what else? Alex. I think that's what it was. Alex Rising Pool Typhoon. I don't know. Dance Central 4. I don't really care too much about that. I like Dance Dance Revolution better. I'm more of an old school DDR fan. And I was... A lot of people don't know that about me. I was really into DDR way back in my 90s because days and early 2000s days. That was my shit, you know. But um, not, if you didn't know, now you know. Even though I'm a real big dude and everything, but... I used to dance the shit out of those motherfuckers. I, was, I, I kid you not. So yeah, Dance Central 4, that's a good ass game. It's cool. Um, Disney's um, Fantasia Music Evolved. That shit was good. Evolved, of course. Fable Legends, I didn't really give a shit about Fable Legends. It's a boring ass game. Sorry for the Fable fanboys and fangirls out there. I can honestly care less about that game. It's just fucking boring and very repetitive to me. It's like a World of Warcraft meets some Diablo. I'm not, I'm not really big on MMOs. If you're in MMOs, that's good for you for me. It's another genre of video game, and I could pretty much live without. Um, Project Project Spark PC2. I seen this. This actually looks good. They actually even showed Conker's Bad Furry Day. I need people don't know the old school N64 game that they made with Rare back in my 90s, because I think it was 99, 2000, or 2001. So I might have been in my 2000s, teen years. I don't know. When Conker's Bad Furry Days came out, it was the last one of the very last official Nintendo 64 games that came out way back when, before the GameCube started like coming out and shit. The Platinum Edition and all that shit, you know, Game Boy Advance and all that stuff. Um, that was a really good game. I, I could see Project Spark being very successful for the Xbox One. I just hope it's not an Xbox One exclusive, because if it is, I'm hoping it's for PS4. I'm really, I'm crossing my fingers if PlayStation 4 gets this too, Sony, for Project Spark, because that looks like a good-ass cool game. You get to make your own worlds, your different imaginations, your own, like, creativity. It's almost like Minecraft a little bit, but a lot more fun. It's actually more better. Minecraft. I would even go as far to say this is like even better than Minecraft. Even though it's a big, giant, huge indie game that went four or five billion people a day that are probably playing Minecraft. It's just, oh yeah, and then they got Minecraft for all three systems now. They got it not just for um, Xbox One anymore or 360. They got it for PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and they got it for the Wii and Wii U, which is crazy as fuck um, for Nintendo. So now it's on all of them now. Um, yeah, there's all I gotta say about that. Sorry about that. I had to go on my older list. Um, Next one up, these are all the indie games I talked about. I'm just going to go skip, scan through them. There's some um, Asteroid Base. Sorry for the dogs barking out there. Lovers in a Dangerous um, Statement. Play Dead. Um, Crush from Studio Mar. Master Chalice from um, Diablo Find or Double Find. Um, I'm just going to be looking at this more than you guys. I'm sorry. Um, what else? Night Squad. That looks good from Team Chainsaw Games. Dang. Um, let's see. Um, Plague 2 for Evolve for PC. And um, Endemic Creations. These are all the really good ass indie games too. These are all amazing. I wish these would have been for PS4 too. Sony. But like I'm just saying. Let me keep going on. White Knight from Osama Studios. Earthlock from Snow Castle Games. Um, Hitter Light Drifter from Heart Machine Games. Lifeless Planet Stage Studios. Slash Dash Never Hideout. Never Out Games. Okay. Fru, F-R-U, through. Yeah, okay. Fru, through. I don't know. Mighty Concept from Graveyard Bunk. 
Monk, Graveyard Broken Knowledge Wind Studios, Three Cerebro and Hidden Variable Studios, okay. Phoenix Ralph, Reverb Triple X, and then Wooly Grind, okay, from hashtag IDABR. I'm not even say hashtag to follow my YouTube channel, no, or my Twitter or Facebook. It literally is called hashtag IDABR, another good game. Um, Hellray from Techland, um, Below from Capyboa Games, I don't know. Um, these are all the rest of the Xbox ones that I didn't really care too much about. The Witcher 3, Wild Without, um, Killer Instinct again, Dust from the Cloud, Tom Clancy Division, that's cool. Tom Clancy's games were cool as shit, I'm not going to lie. It was all about military war, first person shooter shit. Way before Call of Duty was around, Medal of Honor, all the Tom Clancy shit, a lot more better than that piece of crap, I'm just saying um, let's see, I'm glad Tom Clancy games are still coming out, even though unfortunately he died two years, a year ago. So rest in peace to Tom Clancy there. Um, let's see, what else? Scarebound from Microsoft Studios, Cloud9 program from Crackdown. Crackdown looks like a good ass game. It looks like Saints Row meets Grand Theft Auto V. I'm just saying, but this is an Xbox exclusive. I really wish, unfortunately, this isn't for PS4, so if I had to get an Xbox One, I'd probably get that for Sunset Overdrive, Crackdown. Sunset Overdrive, and um, that Conquered by Friday thing, like the Project Star. Uh, what else? Another game that would have been good. Um, man, not Fable, but um, maybe Call of Duty. I doubt it. All the indie games that they have, I probably would have bought it for that. That's the only four reasons I would buy an Xbox One. Other than that, most of the time I'm not going to get it. Um, let's see. It's from Platinum Games Company, creator from Dave Jones, CEO of the video game industry. Evil Within and um, Minecraft Returns. Again. For another Xbox like indie downloadable game. So um, I didn't have to make a part two of this luckily, but um hopefully you enjoyed this video. This is all I had to say about the E3 for Microsoft Xbox One. I guess Fourth of July is starting, so uh that's all I had to say for now. So like I always do say, I'll be doing a Nintendo GameCube thing, not GameCube, Nintendo Wii U and um Sony PlayStation 4. Be on the lookout for that shit. So uh sorry about that big explosion right there. There's fireworks going on, which they always do that shit right before 4th of July. I don't know why. Happy 4th of July for the United States. God bless America, all that stuff. God bless the USA and the troops and all that shit. Like I always do say, once again, peace out. Bros, women, bros, and pecs, sister. I will see you when I see you guys every day. Have a good night. We'll be right around the world. Don't drink smoke at the same time. Don't turn direct. We'll see you soon. See you around. Peace out. Ladies, goodbye. I'll talk to you guys soon. Be safe. Be easy. And uh, happy late 4th of July for in the U.S. Deuces, I'm gone. And uh, you guys stay safe. And I'll see you soon, okay? Be easy and I'm out.